sound. Yeah. yeah. I don't think this camera has a good mic. located in Scottsdale in any one year we may get between 3,000 and 4,000 native animals that have been orphaned or injured we're able to release more than half of them some of them cannot be released because of their injuries that is the case with Sonora she is non-releasable at the age of eight weeks when she was in the sibling they were attacked by Africanized bees. Oh. At eight weeks, they can't fly yet. At eight weeks, they can't fly yet. So her only recourse was to bail out. During the fall down the tree, she broke this right wing in three places. Her sibling did not make it. <clears throat> she can fly. She cannot fly well enough to hunt. If we released her, she would starve. So she'd become part of our education program. Beginning at eight weeks, probably Joe started working with her to see whether or not she could become an education animal. Bald eagles go from an egg to full size in just 15 weeks. So you can imagine how busy their parents are bringing them food. Bald eagles typically build very large nests out of twigs and sticks. The first year, they build it typically in a tree. They're in the desert because they don't, may not have as many trees. They'll actually build them on a cliff. She feels the breeze. She wants to fly into the breeze. Yeah. Even though she's been with us for almost five years, she still has the instinct of going into the wind. They build very large nests. Uh, typically, the first year, it will be something like uh, six feet across and three feet deep. Each year, they'll, add, they'll come in and clean it out, add more twigs and sticks. And each year, it'll get larger and larger. The largest bald eagle nest was found in Florida. After so many years, it was 30 feet tall and 10 feet across. It weighed more than 2,000 pounds. It had broken the tree in which it was located on. <coughs> Bald, when our settlers came here, it was estimated we had 500,000. 